Ladies and gentlemen, we now present George Edwards in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, yes. My name's Lanyon. I believe we're in a room together. Have you been up to see it yet? Uh, no, I was just up on my way. Well, it's along here. Quite a decent little place. Got a good fireplace and a window looking out into one of the squares. <laughs> we're in luck. Anyone else but ourselves? No, just the two of us. The mate has promised to come along, get us some cushions and things, and a comfortable chair or so. Be rather snug by the time we're properly dug in. Uh, here it is. Behold the scene of our future travail. Plenty of good old midnight oil has been burnt in here. <laughs> That's right. We come in freshers, we go out lawyers, doctors, engineers. Oh, touch, touch. Nothing so plebeian as that in this stronghold of culture, my boy. To be an engineer smacks too much of grime under the fingernails and the sweat of honest toil. Oh, by the way, what are you doing? Uh, medicine. I thought I'd have a try for science as well. Oh, you're going to be busy. Oh, Stinks is a perfect slave driver, I've heard. Uh, you mean Professor Marriott? Well, I met him a while ago and liked him immensely. Oh, yes. No end of a decent old pot. But a martinet in the laboratory won't stand for any sort of larks at all. <laughs> I guess I'm far too much of a butterfly to last out anything more serious than medicine. <laughs> Even then I'll be surprised if I get away with anything more impressive than an MB. <laughs> well, come along. <laughs> Where'd you to assemble in the great hall? Put your bags and come out. Uh, how did you find out so much about things so soon? Well, I've got two brothers here. They could be wise to no end of things. Great saving on the nervous system. I hate starting anything, don't you? If the young gentleman in the back row will kindly give me their attention, we will now proceed with a demonstration. Will Mr. Jekyll be so good as to give me his assistance? Jekyll again, the old boy dotes on him. Yes. Jekyll's out for others. He can have his swats every night of his life. If you have anything of importance to communicate to your neighbor, Mr. Grayson, would you be good enough to allow us all to hear? Well, come along, don't be modest. I'm sure the cause of science will be considerably advanced if we hear what you're whispering to Mr. Roberts. Uh, it, it was nothing, sir. I apologize for talking during lecture, sir. Good. We will now see that by the addition of a few minims of this tincture, we will completely alter the character of the subject under observation. Uh, Mr. Jekyll, are you ready to carry out the rest of the experiment? Uh, yes, sir. Quite ready. Good. <laughs> the action of extreme heat, which we will now apply by means of lighting a flame under this retort, will bring about a further interesting change. Oh, come on, Jekyll. You're not going to stick at those books all your life, are you? Well, I've got exams in five weeks' time, don't forget. Oh, what have you held? You'll pass with one hand tied behind your back. Tell him for this weekend and come to London with Roberts and me. Be back on Sunday night and you'll feel like 40 men after it. Working yourself to death, man. Don't think you've smiled for a month. <laughs> with you about to make a fist of yourself? <laughs> then come on, be human. Have you ever been on a binge in your life? Have I? Well... Yes, I guess I have. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. You've got that monkish pallor that betrays the pure in heart. <laughs> Can't endure it myself. Then come along and we'll wallow in sin. Oh, you mean it? Of course I do. I haven't seen London for months. I love the dirty, bedraggled old hag. Let's go and fill our nostrils full of the odor of her evil doing. Is this really you, Jekyll? And me thinking you were a positive monk. Uh, Casanova was a monk, don't forget. By Joe, so he was. <laughs> but to see you sitting there under that lamp makes me think more of a knight of the Holy Grail than of him. And I'll be Tannhauser in the Venusberg. Be gone, dull care, away with bookish learning. <laughs> what if the hand does shake when making the experiment? Who knows, a new discovery may be made and I'll be famous. If old Prof Marriott sees you at it, heaven help you. He's grooming you for half the fellowships in the year. Come along, let's get out of here. 
The girls here are the same as the ones at Farrow's. Well, what do you expect? They've all got two legs, two arms, and no brain. Can't anybody show me something different? Be back at the university this time tomorrow night, and I won't have done a single thing I haven't done before. He wants variety. What about it, Jekyll? Can't you lead us to some dark and secret sense? Well, if you persist in sticking to the West End, you'll never find variety. Oh, what do you mean? Well, this is the sort of thing our fathers used to indulge in. Uh, if you want something different. Of course we do. Well, then come along. I say, where are we going to? Old Cheapside, the embankment, the haunts and the dives of the East End. Have you got walking sticks and buttons on the pockets of your coats? You'll need them. Jekyll, you two-faced deceiver. Have you been keeping all this knowledge to yourself and letting us waste our time and money on the imitation rights of Bloomsbury? Oh, uh, well, we've still got one night left. Walpurgis night. On to the Witcher's Sabbath. Oh, you are not going. Say, say, my little dear, we're leaving you for dark and desperate deeds. Oh, but what about this up there, you promised me? Oh, here's the money. Eat it or put it in the top of your stocking. But then ask to stay and watch you do it. Oh, but that boy promised to have supper with a rich banker from Hamburg for you. <laughs> Never let your heart run away with your head, little one. Go and tell him you love him best after all. Well, come on, Lanyon and Robert. Let's get a cab. Hi. Wake up, Hetty. Pat's singing out for you. Uh, what for? He wants you downstairs, of course. Oh, then tell him I'm not coming. Oh, don't be mad. You've got to. There's three dwarfs just come in. They're drunk as lords and slinging their money down like anything. One of them just paid two quid for a bottle of fizz. Oh, what do I care? I'm tired. I've been working all night. I'm not coming down to sing songs for any toffs at this hour. What time is it in here? After three o'clock. Well, that puts the lid on it. I'm not coming down again for the Prince of Wales. You better not let here Pat hear you say that. He sent me up to get your special. You haven't been here so long as the rest of us. And you don't know Pat when he gets mad. I've been here long enough to know when I've earned what he pays me. I've done enough for one night, and that's that. Hey, Hetty, what's the matter with you? Make it lively. Oh, oh, there he is now. Take my tip and you'll come down. Here, what the... Why aren't you out of bed? Who told you to knock off work like this? I'm tired. You'll have more than this to make you tired before you're done. Now, come on, get up out of it. This minute, come downstairs and entertain the gentleman. Or do I have to drag you down with the lug? You keep your hands off me. You, you slave driver, you. What, what's this? Is this the return I get for taking you in off the streets? Where would you have been if it hadn't been me for the took in pity on you? Huh? Took pity on me? <laughs> I like that. There's about as much pity in you as there is in a man-eating tiger. Mm, so that's the way of it, is it? Then take that, you little impudent faggot, you. No. <laughs> Now you do as I tell you and come downstairs. No, no, I won't. Well, we'll see about that. I'm giving you just long enough for me to count ten before I take hold of you and throw you out of the place, lock, stop and barrel. And where'll you be then, I'd like to know. Oh, he do as he says. It ain't any use making a fuss. And why isn't it any use? If all you other girls would do the same, things would be different round here. But you haven't got the nerve and he gets away with it. I've been here six months now and I haven't ever got out of debt to him. I'll be glad if he threw me out, and then I'll be rid of him. Uh, you would, eh? Then out you go. Go on. Out of this. Right this minute. Then give me back the clothes I had when I came. What? Those rags? I bought them long ago. But I can't go without clothes. And the kind I have to wear here, I'm fit to go out in the street in. No, you're not going in any clothes of mine. You're going as you are, and the first policeman who comes along will arrest you. Oh, you, you beast. That's how you keep your girls here, isn't it? We're slaves, that's what we are. You feed us and dress us and make us do the dirty work you're growing rich on. Shut your mouth, or I'll fetch you such a swipe. You'll, you'll not forget in a hurry. Go ahead and do it. I'd rather that than go downstairs and be mauled about by those drunken brutes down there. I won't do your dirty work, you hear. I'm through with it. I'm finished. Will you quit your squall, or do I have to knock the daylights out of you? Put on your clothes and come downstairs or I'll... Stick. No, I won't, I won't, I won't, mm. see? I won't. Oh, by Jiminy, I've stood enough. Get out of that bed. No, hey, hey, hey. Get your hands off me. Uh, come on, now. Don't get your manners. Here, here, what's going on here? What's going on here? Hetty. Henry. Henry Jekyll. Oh, Henry. Well, what are you doing here? What's that man been doing? Why, oh, Your Honor, it was all a mistake. Have you been striking her? What are those marks on her face and arms? I, I, Shut why, your mouth, you dirty blackguard. 
Hetty, how long have you been here? Six months. Oh, Hetty, six months. Oh, what do you care? It was you that drove me here. I know. I know, but I'll... I'll take you out of it. Where are your clothes? I haven't got any but these. What, not a coat? No, nothing. Here. Here, take mine. Take here. mine, quick. Here. What are you doing? Is she a relative of yours? Never mind what she is. Get out of my way and don't you try to stop this girl coming with me. I'll find some way to clean up this hole of yours and put you where you belong. Now, Hetty, are you ready? Oh, Henry, you're mad. You can't do this. I'm going to. I'm going to try and make up for what I did six months ago. Come on, let's go. Well, sense preserve us. A gentleman like him and a low little tug like her. And he'll take the other two gentlemen away with him as like as not. Bad cess to him. Hey, Jekyll. Jekyll, where are you going? Who's the girl you've got? Never mind. I'll see you on Victoria Station at 7 o'clock Sunday evening. Well, how's that for rapid work, Robert? Goes upstairs to see what the noise is about and comes up with a girl wrapped up in his overcoat. And gets away with her toe. <clears throat> Look, he's putting her into a cab. What the... There's something more to our young friend Jekyll than meets the eye. This will have to be investigated. Come along. Let's follow him. Hello, Jekyll. Hello, Mr. 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 Jekyll. Hello,